Hello. Hi, this is Roxy Maria, and I am giving you your royal review. Camilla Parker Bowles Windsor. Camilla is the soon to be Queen of England. On Saturday, she will be crowned alongside her husband, King Charles III. And Camilla and Charles knew each other when they were very young. Camilla comes from a wealthy family and she ran in the same circles as Prince Charles. Um, they were always interested in one another and um, early on it began this love story that unfortunately for Camilla wasn't always to her advantage or was always it wasn't always um, Camilla who was in the best light. She was a beautiful young girl. Um, Camilla and Charles dated, but when he went off to um, serve, according to sources, his dad posted something which wasn't true, and that's how Camilla um, married and became Camilla Parker Bowles. Later, she married Prince Charles. Um, so sad. I often think of this because for many years, and rightfully so, but for many years, um, Camilla was portrayed as the villain. But was she really the villain or was she just someone who wasn't able to be with the love of her life. Because if you look at Charles and Camilla, you will see how much in love, I mean, it looks like they're really in love. Um, they look really happy together. They're always smiling at one another. They just seem so comfortable together. And I, I think it's really sad. I'm glad that they were able to find each other and marry. Um, but it's so sad, and it's sad that Diana was also in this love triangle, um, but if Diana would not have been there, then there would be no William and, and Harry, um, so that's a way to look at it, but I do feel bad for Camilla and Prince Charles, or King Charles, um, that it was later in life when they were able to really unite and marry um, and live happily ever after. I'm, ha I'm happy for them that they are able to live out their love story. And it is a love story. It's such a love story with all the drama and um, everything that happened in, in one of those fairy tale um, love stories. So in the end, Camilla gets the the king and she becomes the queen. What a beautiful story. Uh, you know, it's sad that all the tragedy happened, but it is quite a love story. Um, and Camilla is very comfortable in the royal, uh, in the royal limelight. She does very well. And it appears that she does get along great with um, everyone in the royal family, including her stepchildren, um, William and Harry. It looks that way anyway from uh, everyone looking, you know, looking in. It looks like they appear to have um, a happy relationship, which... You know, let's take a look at that. So we all know that step families are not always the easiest to be a part of. And imagine the whole situation where your mom dies, who was supposed to be queen. Well, 
after the divorce, um, your mom dies tragically and your dad marries the woman who all these years was supposed to be the third person in the wedding, in the, in the marriage, according to your own mother. And a lot of the problems in the marriage stemmed from Charles loving Camilla, or according to story, as everything is said, um, and you can't help who you love. You, you just can't. You can help how you react to it and your actions, but you can't really help who you love. Um, so imagine, and imagine now this woman is now, she's going to be the queen, which your mother was supposed to be the queen if everything would have played out as everyone thought it would. Um, so for, for William and Harry to appear as though everything is okay with Camilla, I mean, that just says a lot. Uh, it seems like they get along very well. And, you know, I would really, I, I, I would like to know, is that the real situation or do they, are they like, oh, you know, Camilla, oh my God, my stepmother Camilla, um, has a lot of, you know, a lot of times that's what, that's what happens in those situations. But it looks like it's all okay. And I'm happy for Charles and Camilla. And by the way, I love what Camilla is wearing here. Um. Again, when they're together, they always look so happy. I'm very happy for them. And there they are, the two together. They look good. I wish them all the best. Um, I can't wait to watch this with Camilla and um King Charles or Queen Camilla. I cannot wait. I'm very, I'm looking forward to the coronation and I will do some posting another video, but I, uh, I, you know, I can't wait to see her in her role as queen and I'm happy for them. I really am because they're in love and he would not give her up for the throne and there was so many things that had to play out in order for these two to be able to say when i am king you will be my queen so thankfully for them they were able to get the blessing of the queen and the queen said that camilla would be queen consort um because remember, she was supposed to be, um, she was going to be the princess consort. But the queen said Camilla did her service for this country, for this um, royal family. So she deserves the title of queen consort. So Queen Camilla, I cannot wait to see you crowned on Saturday, May the 6th. And it's so exciting that her children and grandchildren will play a part in the ceremony. Her grandchildren will hold the canopy over her while she is getting crowned. So I'm looking forward to all of it. And again, what a great love story.